Hello guys and welcome back to Engineering Hack, where we try to solve engineering problems in a way that's hopefully easy to understand. Today we're looking at a problem that is pertinent to the first law of thermodynamics for a closed system. It's quite a different problem, it requires a bit more understanding and honestly it's a problem that is quite different from what is usually thrown out there for students for the first law. So understanding this can be, you know, one of the curveballs coming your way is pretty important. This is a question by UNSW and the problem statement reads, a mass of 2.5 kilograms of superheated water vapor at 3 megapascals and 350 degrees Celsius is mi mixed adiabatically in a closed system with 0.8 kilograms of wet steam with a quality of 40% at 3 megapascals. Determine the specific internal energy of the resulting mixture and define its state. So our task is what is u final or u2 and what is the quality if it's um a mixture it's a resulting mixture so i assume it's a quality and or um and then define if it's indeed a mixture if it's superheated if it's compressed um saturated vapor saturated um uh, liquid so why is this different well Here's the catch, right? We start with superheated. That's all right. It give that give that much of information, but we're adding to the system another stream of water, right? So we start at this first state here, and we have all the properties, and always nice, just as per usual. But we, um, and this is adiabatic, so we don't have any. Let me make this a bit thinner. So we don't have any heat entering or leaving our system, right? This is zero, but we do have or have the addition we're adding water and we're adding 0.8 kilograms of water and this water has certain properties right this water has um what is it 40 percent quality and three megapascals so it's pressurized and it has a certain quality to it why is that relevant because when we talk about different masses entering um three megapascals and quality of 0.4 or 40%. Okay, when we talk about masses combined, there's a video that we talk about that how when we use internal energy or enthalpy, we generally rely, we generally use enthalpy, right? This is a classical case in which enthalpy would be um, important. But there's two kind of um, twists to this. The first one is it really says it's a closed system, right? It says that states specifically this is a closed system and that's an indication that okay closed system therefore internal energy so you have a you can be on the fence at this point right uh, generally you need to use enthalpy because i have mass going in and mass carries energy but at the same time it says it's a closed system and then later it says what is the specific internal energy right in other words what is the internal energy in kilojoules per kilogram that's what the specific means right it's the kilojoules per kilogram the kil per kilogram part is the specific one okay so it's uh, clearly asking for internal energy. And this is, again, not what a student would expect when uh, he or she comes across a question related to the addition of mass. So, you know, quite different. And the way we're going to solve this is we're going to th we're going to see what is the contribution of this guy in terms of its internal energy, and what's the contribution of this guy, and, and pretty much balance it out or average it out like we do when we have a mixture. Okay, so that's our game plan. So what I'm going to do to solve this is I'm going to um, go ahead and grab all the properties that I need from the property table for this state. I'm going to go ahead and grab all the properties that I need for this state, and I'm going to balance them out and see what's the contribution of each according to the mass that's going in to be able to see what would be the um, internal energy of the combined state or state two. So let me go ahead and call this one state number two. It's going to be my state number two. This will be my state one. Um, and what I'm trying to find out is what is the internal energy of this guy here? That's the question, right? And I'll, obviously, once I have that internal energy, I can uh, try to define this a bit better. Okay. Now, the one thing I know is I'm mixing two um, streams of water that have the same pressure. So I would assume that the pressure is going to stay the same as we come out of this right so and this is again this is an assumption right this doesn't have to be the case 
but uh, it's a fair assumption to do because if we don't do that assumption, we end up with only one property for this state, which is the internal energy that we're trying to find, right? And then that doesn't really give us much space to find um, additional properties. So I'm going to go ahead and assume, I'm going to go ahead and assume, put a star here, assume that because I'm mixing two things, two streams of water of three megapascals, that the pressure too would also be three megapascals. And I'm going to use that assumption in combination with this internal energy that I'm going to um, calculate to be able to define the state completely. All right. So let's start by grabbing the properties for this first state. I'm not going to spend much time here. We've done a lot of this and there's a lot of videos doing this in the channel. Um, we are at three megapascals, which is the same thing as three bar. Okay. And I'm interested in the combination between things here, right? So this is obviously for the added water. Okay, and I have 40% quality, so that means that I have 40% contribution, oops, 40% contribution from this fella and 60% contribution from this fella. Um, and therefore, if I want to find out what is the um, what is the internal energy for this guy, all I need to do is okay, internal energy for the added water, internal energy for the added water will be my um, liquid one plus the quality 40% times the difference, right? So 2603 minus 004. This gives me that the added water is 1643. And that is kilojoules per kilogram. Again, Always check the units to be sure of what you're doing, right? All right, beautiful. So this is specific um, internal energy. And now for the, the other state, we know it's superheated. It's been said from the start, superheated right here, right? So we can go straight into a superheated table. Again, I have three megapascals, so 30 bar and 350 Celsius. So I am at 30 bar here, and I'm looking for 350. So this is the column that I'm interested in right here, okay? And out of these properties, the one I'm interested in is the internal energy. So this guy here. So this is the one I'm looking for. 2845 is the internal energy of state one. Okay. So let's think about the mass contribution going on here. On the one hand, I have um, so, um, mass contribution. Mass con Okay, on the one hand, mass one's contribution is uh, 2.5, 2.5 kilograms out of what? Well, out of the sum, right? Out of the sum of both um, both masses. So that's uh, specifically 2.5 plus the 0.8, which gives us 3.3, .3, and then this is also kilogram, and then this is about 75.76%. Okay, so out of the total mass, the first stream is contributing um, three quarters. And the second mass, change colors, second, uh, the added mass, I should say, add, added contribution is 0.8 out of the 3.3. .3. Okay, again, same units on both ends. And then obviously this needs to be 100% minus this. And this math needs to check out, so this is 24.24 percent okay and i'm going to use this as my criteria to see how much internal energy is coming from one and the other so what i'm doing really is something very similar to what i did here right here and where, where i had 40 percent that i knew was this much energy and 60 percent that i knew was this much energy i'm going to do the same exact um method or mechanism considering this with the 24.24 percent .24 and this with the 75.76 percent okay so i'm saying that my internal energy two on state two will be a combination of these two guys so therefore 75.76 percent of the 2845 plus um 24 24.24 percent Extra, extra dot there, 24.24 percent times the one we calculated, which is 18. What was it? 1643.6. 1643.6. Okay, that gives me that U2 
U2 is 2553.82. Units need to be the same. And let's check if that makes sense. I have way more of this than I have of, of the other one. So therefore, it should be closer to 28 than 16. Indeed, it is. It's 25. That makes sense. All right. So this is part of the answer, right? They are asking, what is the specific internal energy for this case here and the specific internal energy is 2553.82 kilograms per um, per kilojoules if i wanted to i could multiply this by multiply u2 by the mass that we happen to know is 3.3 .3, and that's going to give me you know i have about 84 about 8.4 um, megajoules of energy. Okay. They're specifically asking it for this one. So this is just FYI. Okay. The last piece of the puzzle. So what were the three things we needed to find? It was the specific internal energy we just found. Um, and the, the, set, the state, the state we're in. So let's look at the only thing we know about the state in addition to the, the pressure is this guy here, right? This guy here. So then we can take this and go back to our table and compare it to this guy here. Okay, so obviously it's smaller, so therefore I should be on a lower state of energy. So let's go one level up and compare it to the saturated mixture state. Here we are. Okay, so we're looking at three megapascals again, saturated water table. And I'm interested in seeing how this number here compares with these guys here. Okay, if um, 25 is smaller than 26, and indeed it is, then we know this is not superheated, right? We kind of eliminated that already, but we can be sure here. Now, the next question is, is this smaller than the liquid? So is it smaller than 1,000? It's not, right? 2,500 is smaller than, it's greater than 1,000. So therefore, I can be sure that this number falls in between these two. And then I can write, because, because um, UF is smaller than U2, which is smaller than UG, this is a saturated mixture. This is a saturated mixture. Okay, so I can be sure this is a saturated mixture, and I can um, either finish the problem right here, or um, determine how what's the quality of this saturated mixture, right? Because they're asking us, the specific internal energy of the resultant mixture and define its state. So that's pretty much defined. It's a saturated mixture. It has um, three megapascals and its internal energy is 2,500. But if I want to, I can go ahead and calculate what is the, let me get rid of this. Let me put this guy up here. If I want to, I can calculate what is the quality, right? What's the quality? Because the quality is going to be that 2,500, 2,550, 3 point, I forget what we get, point 0.82 minus the 1,004 divided by the difference between the 2603 and the 1,004. And this happens to be 96.92. Okay, so in other words, this um, final state, put it that way, let me just grab this and let's take this up to our question mark here. Okay, our final state, according to what we calculated, final state has a pressure of 3 megapascals. It has a internal energy of 2553 kilojoules per kilogram. And it is a saturated mixture that is 96 or 97% um, steam, saturated uh, vapor, and about 3% saturated liquid. That's mixture. That's the definition of state two. Okay, so that does it for this question. If you have any comments or any questions on this, as per usual, just leave them down below in the comment section. If this video was helpful, consider giving it a like, and we'll talk soon.